So, I was uh, just writing this little bit here in my office that I reserved yesterday, just for today. I was going to do some writing on this book that I want to write for like a really long time called Stories Told Unfold. Actually, I, I wrote up a business plan of 10 books that I would like to write. Doesn't mean they'll ever get written. Doesn't mean they won't. It means a long time ago I had a thought, an idea, and then I built upon it. So I, I wrote this. And this is kind of what I want to write for a children's book, but I would not read or record this in a children's book because this here is more for an adult than a child. But the idea is really important to drive home in a children's book. You know, no matter what you do, you're going to shape someone's thoughts, feelings, or views of you, others, or the world around them. Well, that's not my fault. It's theirs. And besides, everyone has to learn. There's really no way around it. The only way around is through. Is that it? Some physiological, psychological adage you read off advertising, or some advice given but never asked for, or maybe personal experience gained watching a screen or reading a book or out on some adventure and coming home with a story to teach and enthuse. Is that it? Eye of the Hurricane. Moby Dick was the last source of oil to light the city streets and it was now or never. See how your questions sound? Like a story full of something, but only scars that last a lifetime, forcing me to choose. Laugh or cry, big guy. <laughs> so, sorry, that's so pathetic, so poetic. Let me guess. Being the big guy, everyone takes shots at you just to prove in a world of competition and power, right? So yeah, yeah. As you see, in less than 15 minutes, that's all I got. But, like I said, I was going to write with somebody today. I was hoping to write this down and trying to convey a thought. Just being alive, you can't help but affect other people. There's no way around it. So I, I'm listening to a bit of disc one on uh, uh, the art of power. And I thought this, this author, because I've seen their name, um, many times before and, and I thought they were like somebody who done all this writing way back in ancient times. Well you find out they were born in like 1926 and the audio book is The Art of Power and I am not going to butcher their name. By a time on the wall my time is now up. So I'm going to upload this video and share with you the thought that maybe you would like to help me edit what I wrote there and, and maybe how to convey how we as human beings or any plants or animals or even the material world around us like the wind, the sun, the clouds, the, uh, the water, 
the rivers, the oceans, the seas, the landscape, how it all shapes how we feel right in that moment. Look, it's, it's overcast and I just don't feel like doing anything. And, and then how to take, that was a terrible first impression you made, but I, I like you and I'd like to try again and make, make you feel differently about me because that's not who I am or how I want you to see me. And, and it, it's this kind of book for children that I would like to write. How do you change somebody's feelings about how they see you, how they feel about you? Because we had a bad day or, or we did something really embarrassing and, and that's not who we are. We, we don't do these embarrassing things or we don't go around making enemies on purpose. And yet, you know, everyone can be taken the wrong way. Everyone can have a bad day. Everyone. And it's when you write a book or, or, or anything, um, you're shaping how people think and view you or how they view the world or how they view themselves. Oh, look, I've given you a complex. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Can, can we change that? Let's just work that out. Let's fix it because there's nothing wrong with you. And we're all impressionable and nothing is permanent in a world where everything changes and they have created everything in this world to change how somebody feels about themselves, about other people, about any business, government, or religion, right? And depending upon that person's view, they're going to shape how you might feel about it. They might even want to shape how you feel about it from an opposite point of view of how they personally feel. Here, I'm going to turn you into an advocate for animals, because everybody loves animals, but pretty much everybody eats animals. You see that, right? So I'm going to turn you into an advocate for the animals, because they shouldn't be eaten or whatever it might be. Anyway, um, thank you. Oh, well, today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Thanks.